At last, all my work is done. Let's see what's on Tinder. Damn, yet again, no matches. I even bought Tinder gold. And my ex, she's still with that loser. Who needs a private jet anyway? I'm on three days of nofap. That's so good. And you know what? One more can't hurt, right? Screw it. No. Once again, you failed. A slave to your addictions. And you're a dirty stinking weasel. I mean, you're a dirty stinking vapper. There is no one last video. One last sneak peek. One last chance to stare at those enormous tits. No, there isn't any of them. But there's one more book. One more workout. One more beautiful woman. One more fap. Wait, uh, no, not fap. We're, we're trying to avoid that. That's right, trying. And you're barely even doing that. Scrolling on TikTok, searching for softcore adult content. Instagram, stalking your ex, thinking of those good times. <laughs> I miss her so much. In video games, only selecting the female characters. Damn, who even animated that? And it's because your mind is in the wrong place. You believe that these things do no harm. Not realizing that every nut you bust is one more nervous interaction with a beautiful woman. One more less rep in the gym. One less million dollar idea. And one less time you can say that you're proud of yourself. And I know it's sad, but let's change that right now. How many times are you going to fat for the very last time? You just have to see your favorite corn star in her newest video yet don't you? There's no other alternative. Or maybe that's just the excuse you give yourself. Delaying your happiness, your progress, and your development to an extreme extent. All for one last moment of momentary pleasure. We're talking about adult content, and to be honest, it doesn't stop there. When it's not one last corn video, it's one last cookie. One last video game. I'll start working out on Monday. One last 40 minute games of League of Legends. Honestly, one game of League of Legends is like 40 minutes. I used to play 10 games a day. Just think how much time I was wasting. The amount of things I could have done better, the amount of muscle I could have gained, the amount of businesses I could have made, the amount of things in general I could have just done better throughout the time. Ugh. But of course, one last video game, one more cookie, one more corn video, one more fab. And every time you say that, it's one less chance to be better. Always making excuses, but, but why? Punishing yourself with one more video, because when these things are above your purpose, they're damaging you. One more day, just one more video. It takes one day for Chad to take your girl. One day for another guy to take the success that was supposed to be yours. One day for another guy in the same scenario as you. The same money, the same household, the same family life, the same video game addiction. For him to stop and start growing, gaining success, and taking everything that was supposed to be yours. Cause you were lazy. You had to play one more game. You had to be a loser one more time. It doesn't start tomorrow, it doesn't start Monday. It doesn't start when you make X amount of money. The number one indication if you truly want to grow in something is if you start now. Started regardless of your situation. That's how you know you're passionate. I don't care if Mia Khalifa just drops another video. I don't care if the new Fortnite skin is out. If you're not on your purpose, if you're not grinding, if you're not doing all these things to make your life better, there's no reason you shouldn't be doing them. Absolutely no reason you should be doing these things over your purpose. None. The gym isn't starting next week, it's starting right now. And if you haven't already started, get down now and give me 20 push-ups. And if you're unable to do 20, hit me up on Instagram right now so I can roast you into doing 20. Honestly, so many guys have the potential, the opportunity, but they're just wasting it every single time. Every single shot, they don't make it. In fact, they don't even take it. You want the physique, the money, the business, the girlfriend, <laughs> but you haven't started. When did you last go outside your house and talk to a girl in broad daylight? Regardless of the outcome, when last you asked for a girl's number? When last did you make high quality food? Instead of ordering pizza, ordering takeaway. Maybe you're at home, playing video games, eating pizza. Watching educational videos and taking no action. Haven't spoken to a girl in so long. They say nice guys finish last, but you're not even in the race, you're still at the starting line. The starting line, delaying your business, your success, your relationships, neglecting all these things. And that neglect will make you sad, make you unable to get these things, and you will never get them. And one day you'll come to regret that. Regret that very deeply, my friend. But wait, maybe you don't need to regret. Maybe there's another way. I'll be honest, throughout my life I've been delaying things. I'll eat healthy on Monday. I'll hit gym next week. I'll talk to the girl when I gain some muscle. All these things led me to one place. Nowhere. All alone, eating terrible food, watching adult content, and becoming a pointless person because I was stuck in a cycle. But eventually I broke it. No longer watching one more video. No longer skipping the gym. No longer delaying my success. It was simple. It was exhilarating. And most importantly, it was my escape. All I had to do was stare. I'm staring at this video game. I'm staring at my phone. I'm staring at her ass. And titties. Bro, that's not what I'm talking about. Besides, her tits are fake. When I say stare, I mean you must go to a quiet room in your house and stare at a wall. And for the first time in your life, think. And it might sound weird, what the hell? You're thinking right now. Thinking about diving into that pussy. When I say think, I mean you must think about what you really want deep down. On the surface, you desire to eat sugar. To win the reward in the video game. 
to ruthlessly bust that nut. But the truth is, all these things are a watered down version of what you truly want in life. You don't want a million coins, you want a million dollars. You don't want that donut, you want to feel safe. You don't want to watch that corn star on your screen. You want someone next to you to love. Up until now, you've been acting on your impulses. And it shows. You've not considered what you truly want. And how the actions you take every day reflect this. Every day you choose the easy option, the simple option that keeps you lame. Watching one last video, sacrificing your brain capacity. Delaying every chance for growth. But when you learn to think, when you get on this journey of self-improvement in every single way, you start to grow, you start to feel happy, and most importantly, you start to take action. Action in learning, action in your business, action in your health. And just looking at the wall, thinking, changing my life in every single way. Giving myself time to work through puzzles in my mind. Work through tactics I need to get to the next level. Figuring out how I can take action, finally grow and finally make some success. And yeah, it probably won't be easy. There'll be times you want to stay in bed. There'll be times healthy food doesn't seem appealing. Periods when your phone is dry, no Tinder matches, the girls are rejecting you. And it feels like you might as well beat your meat. But don't. Again, just look at your wall and think of what kind of life you want. A life where you watched an extra video, corrupted your mind and didn't grow. Set for the short term pleasure and busted nuts absolutely everywhere. Or a life where you kept on grinding, keeping hold of the most valuable stock in the world. Your growth, your life, your passion, your success. Cause in the stock market, you can't control Apple, you can't control Tesla. The crypto market, forget it. But you can control your life. You control what you do every single day, the choices you make. So what kind of life do you want? It's a very simple decision, but inevitably, it's a hard choice that you'll have to make. But somehow, some way, I know you'll make the right choice in the end. Cause you will take L's. But those are them L's in vain.